Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for Mass today. It is Friday, October 16th. We celebrate Friday of the 28th week in Ordinary Time, and it is also the memorials of St. Hedwig and St. Margaret Mary Alaque. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But with you is found forgiveness, O God of Israel. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our song shall rise to thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. Begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> the grace and the peace of God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Once again, we pause and ask God's mercy and forgiveness because our gospel tells us that he loves each one of us individually. His presence is very known. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and your blood. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. And now let us pray. <clears throat> Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the revered intercession of St. Hedwig may bring us heavenly aid, just as her wonderful life is an ex example of humility for all, to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son. And pour out on us, we pray, O Lord, the spirit with which you remarkably endowed St. Margaret Mary, so that we may come to know that love of Christ, which surpasses all understanding, and be utterly filled with your fullness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, in Christ we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we might exist for the peace, for the praise of his glory, who we who first hoped in Christ. In him you also, who have heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation and have believed in him were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit, which is the first installment of our inheritance toward redemption as God's possession to the praise of his glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed, Blessed the, the people, people the Lord, Lord has, has chosen, chosen to be, to be his, his own. own. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With the ten-string lyre, chant his praises. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. For upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. From the heavens the Lord looks down, he sees all mankind. Blessed Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts 
so that we may know what is the hope that belongs to our call. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, so many people were crowding together that they were trampling one another underfoot. And Jesus began to speak first to his disciples, beware of the leaven, that is the hypocrisy of the Pharisees. There is nothing con concealed that will not be revealed, no, no secret that will not be known. Therefore, whatever you have said in the darkness will be heard in the light. And what you have whispered behind closed doors will be proclaimed on the housetops. I tell you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but after that can do, do, do more. I shall show you whom to fear. Be afraid of the one who, after killing, has the power to cast into Gehenna. Yes, I tell you, be afraid of that one. And not five, are not five sparrows sold for two small coins? Yet not one of them has escaped the notice of God. Even the hairs of your head have all been counted. Do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning again, everyone. Good morning, Father. I think it's important to always keep in mind as we hear these readings, the letters of St. Paul and uh, the Gospels, all, all the Gospels, the four Gospels, um, they were written at a time of persecution. And so many of the things that are said in those Gospels are, are trying to encourage the community during this ter terrible persecution. So in St. Paul's case, in the first letter, first reading to you we had from his letter, the Ephesians, he said that, I, I don't know how it, how it happens, he says, but um, we all have the spirit within us. We are, we are adopted children. And so if you're in the midst of persecution, don't fear. The spirit will guide you. The spirit will encourage you. The spirit will always nudge you on, really, to, to preach the gospel, no matter what. And that's his message today to the community. And of course, when Luke wrote his gospel, he was writing about Jesus, he, he wrote the gospel uh, after, after the resurrection and the ascension. And so the church is being persecuted again. And he's trying to encourage them. He said, what you received in the dark, there's no way you can stop proclaiming it in the light. And I think uh, that's true. If you think about your own lives, it's, it's hard not to talk about the gospel. It's hard if you hear it being persecuted or criticized or re received with apathy. You almost want to say something, want to get it out there and tell the, the truth of Jesus Christ. And I think that's, uh, that's what he's talking about. And, and, and again, you're going to be persecuted, he's saying, but don't fear because God is with you intimately. Uh, he, he uses some great images. Uh, one, one was that every... A uh, hair in your head is counted by God. I remember when I was in the seminary, um, I think it was this passage I had to do a presentation on, and we had one of our priests in the seminary who was bald. <laughs> and I said, kiddingly, for Father Grimes, that, that is as much of a challenge for God, but uh, it got back to him. And he didn't particularly appreciate it, but that's that's okay. But I made it through, I made it through anyway. But also, he talks about the sparrow. Uh, the sparrow was the they're around here. You know, the most common bird was there no no prestige like a like a cardinal or an eagle or whatever, but just little tiny birds, and they're very cheap to buy for sacrifice, as you, as you heard in the gospel. And yet, even every one of those, God is aware of. And I, I was thinking about that as I was sitting back there before Mass this morning, looking out here, and I thought I thought I saw something run across the floor here, and it was one of our squirrels uh, looking for something. Uh, but uh, 
I thought, well, even God knows about that squirrel. And that's, that's pretty, pretty awesome when you think about it, that that's how much uh, personal interest that, that God has in each one of us. So again, this message was given at a time of persecution. So if you feel a little discouraged, he's telling them a little fearful, want to give up, don't, because God is with you and he knows even about that little squirrel. So if he knows the little squirrel or that little bird, he certainly knows about you, one of his creatures. And we think about <clears throat> persecution. Um, back then it was very horrible persecution, but it's very subtle today, but it's still persecution. We, we know that um, the government sometimes enforces us to do things that are against our religious beliefs, like abortion. And uh, we certainly hold up in great esteem the little sisters of the poor who have confronted the power of the United States government and they refuse to have health care in their homes or institutions that would um, require paying for abortions. And they just fought that so much. But they had that, that courage that, uh, that uh, Paul is talking about and that we need to remember in our own lives. So it's a good, powerful message and it never, never gets old. So let's stand and to uh, offer our petitions this morning. Continue to pray for the great prophet in our times, and that is our Holy Father, Pope Francis. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. I was talking to one of our diocesan officials recently, and uh, he was just talking about the number of times in every day that Bishop Bambera receives mail. Maybe it's that high. And he said some of the some of the mail is absolutely horrible uh, the way the things they say to him, but yet he is such a positive, faith-filled man that he doesn't he gets out there and proclaims hope, and he certainly is is, a, is one who lives this gospel. Let's just pray for our bishop, Bishop Bambera. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray in thanksgiving for religious women, especially this morning. We think of the little sisters of the poor who spent their whole life and spend their whole lives serving those who are old and elderly and do it with love and confronted persecution in a powerful way. Let's just pray in thanksgiving for their witness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us continue to pray. We see some spiking in the cases of coronavirus. It doesn't seem to want to ever go away, but it will. But uh, pray, pray that it will. Pray for those who are still dying from it, those who are ill from it, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for um, an end to abortion in our country, in our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our <clears> prayer. Let's pause for our own intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And uh, again, we continue to ask Mary's intercession. Hail Mary, full, full of grace. grace. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Faith of our fathers living still, in spite of dungeon, fire, and sword, Oh, how our hearts beat high with joy Whene'er we hear that glorious word Faith of our Father's holy faith We will be true to Thee till death Blessed are you, 
<clears throat> Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who has humbled himself to share in our humanity. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. And now pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all, his holy church. Most merciful God, <clears throat> who are pleased to create in blessed Mary, Margaret Mary Alloquay, the new person in your image, the old having passed away, graciously grant that we pray that renewed like her, we may offer you the accept, acceptable sacrifice of conciliation. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. <clears throat> it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and to manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. 
Until you come again, until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the religious and clergy. Remember also our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And this morning we remember Melissa Klein and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Faustina, St. Hedwig, St. Margaret Mary, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him, and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. And now at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are <clears throat> yours now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share Christ's peace with one another. Peace. Peace. And peace to everyone who's viewing at home. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. And may the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Come out to meet Christ the Lord. 
We hold the death of the Lord deep in our hearts. Living now we remain with Jesus the Christ. Once we were people afraid, lost in the night. Then by your cross we were saved. Dead became living, life from your giving. We hold the death of the Lord deep in our hearts. Living now we remain with Jesus the Christ. And with our brothers and sisters praying with us this morning at home, let us pray an act of spiritual communion. <clears throat> My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Let us pray our prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael, Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, o Prince, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all other evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. <clears throat> and now let us pray. By the power of this sacrament, Lord, we pray, lead us always in your love to the example of blessed Hedwig and Martha Mary, and bring to fulfillment the good works you have begun in us until the day of Christ Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. <clears throat> and may Almighty God bless you, <clears throat> the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Just another reminder. <clears throat> particularly for our friends at home that we will be having an outdoor mass on s Sunday at 4 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 3 o'clock at the Grove. <clears throat> you remain in your cars, put on your car radio, and you'll be able to hear everything going on in the mass. And I'll, I'll might even be singing, so you don't want to miss that, so just turn up the volume when that happens. And, and uh, if it rains, we're going to do it anyway because you'll be in your car and we'll be under the pavilion. So we'll have it. And then the communion will be given, will be given at the cars. So good chance for everyone to come to Mass and uh, be safe. Okay, have a good uh, day, everyone. Stay safe and God bless. You too, Father. Thank you. Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee. All on earth thy scepter claim, all in heaven above adore thee, infinite thy vast domain, everlasting is thy reign, infinite thy vast domain, everlasting is thy reign. Thank you everyone for joining us for Mass this morning. We'll be back tomorrow afternoon for the Vigil Mass of the 29th Sunday in Ordinary Time at 4 o'clock in the uh, afternoon. See you tomorrow. You take care and God bless.